hello welcome to my channel again today I'm going to show you how to create these die cuts I'm sure that if you are a card maker you've seen these around I don't know which company makes them but I'm going to show you how to create your own and you can personalize them with the name of the person that you maybe it's a birthday and maybe it's a Merry Christmas and then the name of the person uh, the ones that you find in the market, and I, I actually have some of them, they will have something like happy birthday, happy birthday, or they'll have like Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. But the fun part of this, of what I'm going to show you today, is that you'll be able to create your own saying whatever you want. You can even look at this one. This one is in my own language, Portuguese. So, Feliz Nive Criança, that's my sister. And I was just experimenting because her birthday is coming up and I'm creating a few things for her. I'm going to show you how you can use this, but really just browse around and you find many, many ideas for how to use these die cuts. I just love the fact that now with Scan and Cut and Canvas Workspace, you can create your own saying whatever you want and using the names of your loved ones. So just so you, sh you see an example, because you may be asking, how do I use that? Let me give you one, one idea, and that's what we use it a lot on. We, when I say we, it's us card makers. We use it a lot like this, and you can actually add some shake, uh, shake a card um, uh, function to it. You can just add some fun to it and uh, let me show you what that means because I actually made something for my sister. This is a box that there is a gift for her inside and it has this belly band that I created. And look what I did. This is a shaker thing. So these things move around when you move it around. I don't want to do it very much because it's very delicate what's inside. But this is just one, one idea. You can use it in boxes. Um, I love making boxes. So that's the box that I created for her. And I just, I found something beautiful in an antique store and it didn't have a box. So I created my own. And it's just an idea for you to see what you can do with these die cuts. But uh, so let's get to it. And I'm going to teach you how to create the die cut in your canvas workspace. You can do it in your scan and cut too, but then how to save the file, send it and then get it cut. So let's see how that's done. Okay. Okay. So the first thing we do is we open our broader canvas workspace. This is what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to create your own die cuts and personalize it, which is the best. So I'm just going to erase and start from scratch. So you choose, you can actually do this fit to text with any shape you want, but the one that I'm going to build today is on a circle. So you choose, you can be this one. Yes, you can. So whatever you need really, but that's not what I'm doing today. Oh, sorry about that. So there you go. You have a circle. Next thing you're going to do is to write your text. So I'm going to do happy birthday. When you click out of the, the text, you're going to see that this is a bit too large for me. So, and I want to just keep this size. Don't worry about the sizing because you can do it later. But anyway, I'm just going to eyeball it. I think this is good enough. This good size. Okay. Very easy. So what you do is you're going to select both. You can just drag your mouse and select both, or you can select the circle and then holding your shift, shift key, you select happy birthday. Either way it will work. What you're going to do now is click on edit fit to path. It's right here, fit to path. So there you go. It's already there, but of course we don't want it up, up here in the bottom. See this plus sign? That's how you move the text around. You just hold it and you move it around. Looks good to me, but here's what I want to show you too. You see all these um, arrows here, horizontal alignment. This has to do with the alignment of the text of the path because it's actually called a path now. So what I'm going to do is first of all, this is 
this is related to the font the type of font you want the font you, you can change your font whichever font you want let me just give you an example Arial black it would look like that but I'm going to stick to the one that I had before I'm not going to change but I am going to change see the distance between each individual letter here I think it's too distant and I want to just press it closer so what do you do here's the character spacing see zero you're just going to go down character spacing minus one minus two minus three until you're happy with it I think I'm happy with it now minus four so that looks good I'm just going to realign it I think it looks good here but here's what we're going to do next I'm going to copy and paste make a copy of that put this aside because I want the name of the person it's all about personalizing right so happy birthday let's say I want this my sister's name here her birthday is coming up so that's what I'm going to do you click on the text and you're going to to actually change that right instead of birthday I'm going to just type her name this is how I call her criança that's in Portuguese but also if you move this to the bottom it's not easy to read I don't want it to go this way I want it to go I want it to go the other way around and here's how you do that you go over here on the top all all this is regarding this path right that's how you edit the path so I want the path direction to change instead of starting on the left and going this way I'm going to do that it's right but you see how we put it inside the circle I don't want that so we're going to change the alignment right now the path is aligned to the circle on the bottom you're going to do top so just play with this and see how you want it again I'm going to move this around looks good <clears throat> now we have both what we're going to do is combine them so first of all I'm going to select both and make sure that they are centered they are and I'm, I'm just gonna I uh, should have done it later should be the last thing you do actually so I just want to make sure let's zoom in just so we see what we're doing and you know what helps let's add some color to this so one is red the other one is going to be this yellow greenish here so just so you see okay I want to make sure that it's kind of centered it is looks fine to me yeah looks fine so the next thing you want to do is because if you send to the machine now what's going to do is to cut every word every letter separately because it's not a shape and you don't want that you don't want to send it like this because it's, it's just it's not even going to cut this circle here is just going to cut the letters that's not what we want so the next thing we're going to do is to select everything and we're going to convert it to shapes because now we can do something to that see it looks good but we want those circles inside remember so we're gonna get a circle move it around and here's the thing we now need to weld it because that's in, in I know you remember this because I've taught you before see my other videos in order for an image to weld together different shapes welding it has to overlap so you see how it's overlapping everywhere here you have to make sure that it touches every single letter let's move it around a little bit use your arrow keys because it's much easier to move around with the arrow keys but make sure see here let me just zoom in so you can see see it's overlapping every it has to overlap every little piece I'm not sure about the B yeah it's overlapping see overlaps 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 and now <clears throat> I would actually move this word a little bit lower because it's overlapping too much it's gonna cut too much of the letters looks good now so what we're gonna do you can cut it like this let's weld and you see what it's going to look like 
the welding is here shapes process overlap or you can actually go here on edit process overlap and you have weld either way it will work but let's just weld it and you're gonna see what it looks like see looks perfect so you can send it to the machine now and it's going to cut it like this everything together but I want I don't want it to be sent like this I actually want that uh, the other circle inside and I just want like an offset as I showed you in the beginning of the of the video so I'm going to create another circle make it a little bit smaller and we're going to see we just put it anywhere really here select everything and then you align center and middle so you know it's perfectly aligned it actually looks good to me it looks perfect that's what you want that's what you want to send to your machine and it's actually ready isn't that great i absolutely love this because you can and just so you don't mess up i always at the end go to layer and you group or you use Control g or command g if it's a mac you group everything just to make sure that if you move it around it will be connected because that's what you do when you group your image and now you can actually if you want to make more maybe you want to make a box and this is this is why in the beginning i told you don't worry about the size because now you can just drag it because it's an image and you can just decide what whichever size you want you can just click on it and you make sure you look here to see if it's the size you need or you can just specify the size maybe you want <coughs> four by four there you go just make sure that it's you maintain the the aspect ratio because if you if you change the side the size on one size the height or the width it's going to just keep the aspect ratio and you don't want it to screw up so there you go now you learned how to do this but just so you know you can do this to any kind of shape you want let me just show you quickly another one maybe this one here and you can actually draw yourself let me just add text there you go adding text same thing you select both you go to edit fit to path and there you go and you're just going to play around with it and do whatever you want and make sure that you get the sizing you need the type of font you need you can change your font and just play around and do whatever you need because it really depends on your project and that's it and that's i'm just going to show you again the cards that i made and i actually have an image of a box that i made it was uh it's um what is it called it's a easel card that i actually turned into a box and i used the die that i had back then but now oh my goodness you can personalize you can write in your mother language that's what i'm going to do i'm going to write this in portuguese for my sister and there you go i hope you have learned a lot today and just use your creativity and personalize your projects Thank you again for being with me and I'll see you next time. So again, here it is. You now know how to create your own die cut. I have fun with it. Try, try it out, see different sizes, different fonts, because it will dep depend on the fonts that you have in your computer. But just use your imagination. And here's another example. You know, I showed you this in the beginning. You can use it in front of cards. Here are the ones that I created for my sister. So I hope you have learned a lot today and you had fun and you try it out and make sure to leave a comment below so I can maybe see what you've done. And, and if you have questions, just ask. And I'm here to answer your questions. Thank you so much for coming to my channel again. Yeah.